when you're teaching in the academy, you need to remember everyone's name. And I mean everyone. <laughs> you can't be a year down the line and then say to someone, what was your name? Because you've been training them a year. How bad are they going to feel? So either when someone's new, put a sticker on them. That's their name. You know, then you'll get in the habit of remembering their name. And you need to do this for adults and kids. Usually, if you've got, um, depending on the size of the academy, you need to remember as many names as possible. I mean, comfortably, you should be remembering two to 300 people's names, minimum, really, if you depending on the size of your academy. Um, but this all comes with the communication and the interaction. If someone comes and you ain't spoken to them in that session, you're not gonna remember their name. You need to speak to everyone every single time they train at your club, whether it's 10 students or 100 students in a class. You need to make sure you've spoken to everyone because why shouldn't you? You know, you need to give at least everyone one bit of information as in how to improve their technique and ask them maybe one question, how their day was, what they up to on the weekend or, you know, anything it is. So the more you interact with the students, the easier it becomes and the more you just remember their names. But don't leave it and just don't learn anyone's names because they'll think it's a bit rude in a year when they're going for one of their mid-level belts or they're going for a competition. And you go, oh, what was your name, by the way? So yeah, remember everyone's name. It's just really nice. They've only got one name to remember, but that's the talent of a martial arts instructor. Just remember everyone's name.